going on YouTube. I wanted to show you my 1966 Ford Thunderbird I just bought a few weeks ago. Uh, it's a 394 V8 motor in there. Uh, doesn't have the big 427, 428, whatever it is, but uh, you know, it's still plenty of motor for me. Uh, I haven't really touched this car at all. It's really, really original, minus the tires. I just put new Coker white walls on there just to pimp it out. <laughs> but uh, it's original paint. Uh, paint's in great condition, better than my 2016 pickup. Um, the interior uh, is green and white, emerald green is what they call it. Didn't have the 8-track player in there. I was really bummed about that. I have a bunch of dad's 8-tracks in a box I wanted to jam. But uh, excuse my Christmas decorations. I was just riding in the parade. But uh, yeah, I want to put this video out there because I'm really ignorant to uh, classic cars and carbureted motors. Um, from my understanding, the electronics in this bad boy are run mostly off vacuum tubes. And, uh, you know, I've noticed that I'm having some poor responses with a lot of things and uh, was really ignorant to a lot of that stuff going in and uh, just really kind of want some feedback from guys off YouTube because you can only find so much on forums and on Google. So any comments or nitpicking or anything you see that uh, needs some attention or if there's just some regular basic stuff that I should be checking out and doing for maintenance, any common problems that these cars kind of give to owners you know i'd like to know about them uh if you see anything in this video in particular that uh, worries you or uh you know needs to be addressed or needs some tlc you know just feel free to comment or shout out i really haven't noticed many problems besides a uh, uh manifold gasket leak is what i'm hoping it is i'm hoping that manifold is not cracked i don't want to have to weld that up or <laughs> spend money on new ones or you know, go badass and buy some shorty style headers or something crazy. I don't know. Uh, you know, let me know about that too, what I should do. But you can hear the clap and that's the first thing I notice. Um, it doesn't want to idle smooth. It's kind of got a wavy idle to it. You know, I'll uh, show you in another video. But uh, the interior, you know, is pretty dang good. There's a few tears in it, but uh, it hasn't been abused. Um, really happy with it. Doesn't have that old stinky car smell like most of them do. Um, but, uh, you know, I do have a good leak here going on the rear diff. I believe it's a seal, a pinion seal. If I'm right, I'm just guessing I could be totally wrong, <laughs> but, uh, I know I have a small oil leak up front. I'm sure somewhere, but, uh, you know, for the most part, I was really impressed, you know, by the integrity of this car. You know, it's got its fair share of rust for being a six-year-old car. And, you know, I expected there to be some oil leaks, but hey, if it's leaking oil, it's got oil, right? So, um, yeah. I just wanted to put this out there, get into the community, and, uh, you know, start learning some stuff about the car because I really want to maintain it well and, uh, you know, keep it, you know, throughout my life and, you know, pass it on to somebody. But I want to I wanna make it as good and sound as it can be. And uh, if you've got any knowledge or anything that you can pass my way, I would really appreciate it, guys. Uh, just feel free to message and comment and do what you do. And I hope you enjoyed the video.